Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout New Vegas. This is episode five, and we are running J. Sawyer Ultimate. Last we left off, we were trying to make an ingress into this building in Prim so that we can talk to the courier, uh, sorry, the administrator of the Mojave Express who sent us on the courier mission that got us shot in the head, which was not super fun. Now, it doesn't really look like we're going to be able to make it in without a fight. Uh-oh. I think we just attracted that man's attention. And so I was thinking... The smart thing to do here would be to maybe lay some traps. Um, maybe. I'm thinking if I drop a frag mine around the uh, corner here, I can draw on a couple guys and then uh, maybe set them off with an explosive. What do you guys think? Let me go ahead and access my weapons here. Um, frag mine, and we're going to make that number seven. We're going to take the frag mine. We're going to drop it. Where is this man? There he is. We're gonna drop this one right here. And then we are gonna throw. Uh oh, shit! Oh. Okay, well, he's coming right at us. Oh, that ought to do it. Right? Okay. I want my. This thing. Where are you at? Uh oh, he's too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. Holy shit. Yeah, holy shit is right. That's right. Toss another one. Oh, take cover. Oh, didn't get him. Not quite there. Oh, he's got good AI. Whoa, how's that throw? Not close enough. One more. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, that probably woke up the whole town. All right, I get it, Vets. How are we doing? Oh, we're hidden. All right, shit. I'll take that. Let's go see what he had on him. Oh. Let's see here. Escape convict. I'll take those rounds, most definitely. Whoops. Uh, bottle cap. I wish I wouldn't move my mouse to the center of the screen every time. I'll take the dynamite, goggles, helmet, merc adventurer outfit, middle spoon, tire iron, varmint rifle. Most definitely. Thank you very much. Let's pop into our inventory real fast and do some maintenance work here or go to our apparel. We got our uh, goggles helmet. It's got to be better than we got now. What we got now, rather. Um, hmm. Merc adventurer outfit. It's better than what we got. Energy weapons plus 10. That's pretty cool. Um, this powder gang guard armor would be pretty good to have as well, I'd say. Um, in fact, melee weapon explosives plus 5. Uh, let's go with this guard armor here. I've equipped faction armor. Oh, faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction. Members of that faction now consider you a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight regardless of your personal faction relation with them. Any reputation changes that occur while wearing faction armor still affect your character. Security personnel such as guards and watchdogs will see through your disguise and alert anyone nearby, so watch out. Well, I mean, if it doesn't work on the guards, what's the good, I suppose? But uh, these are powder gangers. Although that also presents a problem if we try to... Uh, What's it called? Make our way into this building and everyone thinks we're a powder ganger. Uh, maybe we should just go with the leather armor for now. No longer dressed as a powder ganger. Got our goggles helmet. Um, that'll do for now, though we don't have a lot of weapons left over. Or a lot of, <laughs> no weapons, a lot of weight. Um, let's go ahead and repair this one with this varmint rifle. Give us a little bit. And I'm actually going to equip that right now because it is a little bit more long distance than what we're working with. Oh, Mentats is worn off. Yikes. Suddenly, I feel a little bit dumber. Funny how that works. All right, well, somehow, we didn't alert the rest of the town. Maybe we can make our way in here without too much additional resistance. I know there's more of them floating around here. Haha, -ha, here we go. The Vicky Advance Casino. Now, let's hope that the Powder Gangers don't have control of the first floor or some odd, because that would be a problem for us. Oh. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Ah, man, you guys just left your door wide open. <laughs> Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. See, that's Living this Prim is the man whose house we were in. Now, thick and thin. Mm -hmm. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. All right. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. That is actually not the nature of my inquiry. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Um, what can you tell me about this job? Show delivery order. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over. 
but we couldn't turn down the cats. Mm, what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Yeah. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. The divide, huh? I think that's well, maybe where that's the bombs fell. He canceled, huh? That is suspicious. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Oh, who was this man? Yeah, we need to find him as well. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hmm. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. Suspicious. So anyway, some men stole my package. It was a man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. That sounds like my he was man. talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Uh-oh. He may have heard where they were going. That means he might be held up in that casino. And in between me and that casino. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of powder gangers. I'd like to ask you about... Excuse me, something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. That is true. Where can I get information on the man that shot me? Well, I know the answer to that. I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. No, we got everything else. All right. Don't go getting yourself shot. Thanks, Johnson. Mr. Nash. Who else we got kicking around in here? Maybe that's a ruby? Hello, ruby. Hello there. <laughs> what brings you to Prim? Uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. I like you immediately, Ruby. Tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So I don't have nothing to say about Prim for the time being. Gotcha. At least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. I saw your casserole is actually the out on your plates. It has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. Wow, sounds delightful. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Because that'll kill you dead. Oh, you know, I like every meal that I have uh, to have a small chance of killing me. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? I don't have any, unfortunately. I guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. I uh, will do, Ruby. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> that was so strangely delivered. Hey, uh, hey Johnson. Youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? I am. Um, actually, oh man, he's got way more dialogue options than I thought. What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. All right, well, um, I wonder if I can't get the NCR to help me mobilize a strike on the casino. I have some questions about your robot. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? Uh, where did it come from? What's wrong with it? Do you mind if I try to fix it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Mm, you mind if I try to fix it? 
Are you welcome to try? Oh, weird. It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Well, it's really not that far away, actually. There's a scrapyard, huh? ED, my love. Oh, wow, it's an actual quest to get this thing bro er, broken, <laughs> repaired. Where did it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. Mm. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Well, can I, like, grab Don't it and take it. it with me? Let's see here. Um, stats. No, data. Quests. EDE, my love. Optional. Bring EDE to the blah, blah, blah. And if I look at the map, is it telling me to go inside his house? It is. Interesting. Local map. Oh, well, that's not going to help. Um, I guess I can carry it with me, although I don't think I'll be able to do that with my present amount of carry weight. That's okay. God dang. Um, let's see. What else is going on here? Man, there's all kinds of people in here. What's up, man? Oh, shit. Actually, did he have anything else that I could say? Hey, youngster. For some reason, my mind skipped a... Oh, do you have anything for sale? That's what I'm looking for. Well, yes and no. My shop's got plenty of stock. Problem is, I ain't going into my shop until I know it's good and safe. Alright, well, looks like if I want to, uh, yep. do some commerce, I gotta do some work first. I understand that. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, what about this man? Hello, Prim Resident. Howdy. What about you, Prim Resident? You gonna play some slots, huh? Doesn't Howdy. look like a particularly strong chance of winning, but far be it for me to stop you. Sure. No problem. Got Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome Howdy. to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. <laughs> Who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cow poke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. I like this man. Yeah. Oh, God. That is some high-pitched squealing. Who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding Let me get some rock. Bonnie and Clyde type Vicky figure. Vicky and Vance were this nation's yep. fourth or maybe fifth most infamous. <laughs> fourth or maybe fifth. Ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Sure, Prim Slim, I got the a minute to spare. Tell me the whole story of Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. All right. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. <laughs> Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying Fair them? point. Now, true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. Wow. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. Uh-huh. Having lived by the gun. Well, Vance owned one anyway. <laughs> it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Oh, no. Perhaps. It was fate itself that accidentally drove them into oh my a crossfire God. between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. Truly you can badass put your outlaws. Eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Oh yeah, interesting. Note added: Vance gun brochure. Um, I think this whole thing is supposed to riff off of the fact that Bonnie and Clyde's car, I believe, is at um, Buffalo Bills in Prim, like the actual Prim. Uh, tell me about Prim, my friend. Prim is a thriving resort community located Clearly. in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction <laughs> is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino. Uh huh. All right. Well, I think I got everything I need to know from you, Prim Slim. Any chance you'd be willing to help me take down some powder gangers? Um, look at that. The world-famous. I'm sure. Vicky and Vance, death car. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, might I suggest that you guys lock your door? Um, I did just kind of walk right in here. Let's see. Where is that uh, machine gun in that case? I'm missing it. Move along. Activate yes. Vance's outfits. These mannequins display replica, replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. Whoa. Huh. All right. Oh, and here's where the machine gun should be, I suppose, but does not appear to be. Howdy. 
Vance's personal machine gun. Nine millimeter machine blah 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 blah. That's too long for me to read. I speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun <laughs> so long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip. Or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remember to reload. Fancy that. Hey there. Hi. Oh, you're not talking to me. Sorry. Well then. Anyone else interesting to talk to? Howdy. Howdy. This man, maybe. Hey there. Howdy. Hi. Well then. I guess there's not a whole lot else for me to do here. Um, like I said before, I could try and pop back across the overpass to see... Oh, excuse me, Johnson Nash. Anything cool in this safe? Doesn't appear to be. I don't want to go stealing from these people. They've been so nice as to not shoot me in the face when I walked right in, and Mr. Nash gave me so much useful information. Ruby Nash even offered to make me dinner, which was very nice of her, although I don't know exactly how appealing that truly is, given the uh, potential death that seems to accompany her dinners. Move along. Will do. Alright, well, fuck me. Looks like I gotta make my way into, what's it called? The, uh... The place. There we go. Bison... What is it? Bison stuff? What is it? Can't read the sign. Something with an S. Alright, well... Um... I guess... Now, I'm gonna pop back across the river. Not the river. The, uh... Freeway. Just real quick. Um, and see if I can't convince the NCR to give me a hand here. What do you guys think? Now, it could be a lost cause. I figure it's worth a shot. After all, I definitely have a better chance with some help than I do on my own. Um, but if it comes down to it, I suppose I'm just going to have to try and make it in myself. I don't know what other options I have. It's the only lead that I got is Mr. Man inside, whose name I forgot already. Um, but that's okay. This is Deputy Beagle. That's right, because it's like a dog. Remember that. Oh, a little bit of a chug there. All right, Lieutenant. You willing to help me? Lieutenant Hayes. What you got for me? Hello? Yeah. So I found out some info that might be pertinent to you. I don't Bruce. think so. I Am I really just going in by myself, huh? Goodbye. All right, well, shit. I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Man? What's one man supposed to do? I mean, I am Courier 6. The infamous, right? What about you, guy? You got a death wish? Want to come with me? I got this assignment. I was hoping there'd be more gambling. <laughs> Fair. Well, maybe you might get your gambling after all. Just give me a little bit of time and I'll try and get it done for you. Maybe there's still some working slot machines inside the buffalo strip, stirrup, whatever it is. All right, well, let's get frosty here. I swear there was more than just that one guy out here, but I don't see where his friends have gone at all. Um, I want to say, because I remember doing this, was it Bison Steve? That's what it is. Now, I want to say that there's like an alternate way in um, up this ramp or something like that, right? I remember something similar my first time through here. Um, let me jump up here. Um, it's also worth potentially using my powder ganger disguise to... Oh, here we go. Let's go up this way. Um, maybe I can disguise myself as a powder ganger. Um, that'll actually defend me the most anyway. More than the leather armor even. Um, so I'm now dressed as a powder ganger. And hopefully that'll at least get me a, an easy ingress. What do you guys think? Let's go for a little ride on the roller coaster track. I can get a better vantage point, perhaps. Uh oh. Oh, he immediately, the guards immediately saw me then. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's a convict. Oh, that's right. Well, it's not going to help me because they're not affiliated with the Powder Gangers anymore. Well then. Um. Ah! Man, not so good at uh, using the controls yet. Oh! Oh, and you're done. Sorry about that, convict. Man, those bullets are not messing around. Let's get a nice reload. Just real fast. What do you got, my friend? Got some rounds. I'll take that. And an varmint rifle. Whoops. Merc Adventurer outfit. I'll take that one, too, just because I feel like I can repair it. Or repair my other one with it. And let's go apparel. And let's maintain 
with this one. Bam, boom. Not bad. And weapons, varmint rifle. There we go. What is this little threshold thing, I wonder? Up towards the top, maybe I get better, uh, like critical hits or something. Well, I'm gonna keep the Powder Ganger outfit on, just because it actually does protect me the most. Um, I am not gonna be dropping down off of there. Actually, you know what? I will be. Oh, my dehydration level is increased. Now, stick with minor dehydration. That is unfortunate. What does that do to me? Let me go ahead and check, just real quick. Status. Um, general. No. Uh, effects. Here we go. Endurance minus one. That sucks. Um, dang. Okay. Do I have anything that I can use to rehydrate myself? Uh, Brock flour. Fod. I take it that's food. Um, wait, weird. It reduces my, my food? I mean, I get it, that's raw. Maybe this flour, oh, I guess flowers are radiated here. Uh, sunset sas sarsaparilla. Sar sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Um, H2O minus 34. Is this beer? Must be. I uh, can't tell. But I figure that's the only reason why it would dehydrate you. Um, check this out. Now, I know if I drop from here, it's going to kill me. Um, or it's going to hurt me. And uh, I think... Well, actually, I was going to turn on God mode real fast and drop down there. Um, but I wonder if doing that would um, mess with that reward. You guys remember in the very beginning of the game, it said something like... Uh, if I complete the whole game on hardcore or whatever it is, then I get some sort of reward. Well, if that's the case, I can imagine that using console cheats like toggle god mode would be a, a in violation of that, so to speak. So I'll just go ahead and walk myself down. I'll just talk to you fine folks while I'm at it. Um, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that little jaunt. I'm gonna hop over here and see what's around the back. I think that in a role-playing game, or sorry, in a game made by such role-playing uh, veterans as Obsidian, they are want to give me alternate ways into this place. So it's worth checking out to see if I've got any different ways of ingress into this place that maybe are not right through the front door. What do you guys think? Climb up here. But hopefully I don't end up in an identical scenario where... I have to backtrack. Crouching. That sun's coming up over the hills. Doesn't exactly make it easy to sneak around. That's okay. I wonder if there's anything cool up at the top of there. Oh, there is. There's a man. Well, then we better take cover quickly. He's gonna see us. Here we go. Open the door. Oh, he just saw me, too. Would have started firing. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Keep firing. Oh, come on, baby. Oh! Oh, here we go. Clean shot. Clean shot. Let's go for a torso shot. I can take two. Boom! Got him! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, see if anyone else comes running. I got a dynamite. Nice and ready for him. Hopefully that guy from the, uh, what's it called, doesn't come in behind us. If so, I'm going to switch to my shotgun. All right, here we go. Right, here we go. Got my shotgun out anyway. Got to be tactical about this. A 9mm pistol, why not? Kind of, ooh, you got NCR bucks, huh? 9mm rounds. Um, shit. Oh, we got two dynamites. A uh, Merc veteran outfit. Sure. Um, 9mm rounds, I'll take those too. Um, I'm quickly running out of space here. Here, let me take my apparel. And shit. Oh, I can maintain this. Merc Adventurer. Unarmed. Survival plus five. I'm gonna go with this one. Here we go. Uh, so I can use uh, armor of a similar classification, it seems, to repair. Huh. Um, the reason I'm picking up all these different guns and stuff is because I feel like ammo's still pretty scarce. And so we can't really afford to... Um, pass up any weapons or ammunition. Not yet, anyway. Um, because I only got 21... Ooh, gun cabinet, huh? Ooh, 20-gauge round. Drained electron charge pack. Okay, well, 
I uh, take back what I said before. Laser. Oh, shit, son. What is the, the dealio here? Let's see, now I can't move. Let's go ahead and uh, repair our shotgun with this one. There we go. Um, and how about this laser, this thing, damage 69. Yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, what is it? Number one. With my laser RCW. Let's check this thing out. Pretty cool. If I do say so myself, might as well lead with this since our the lion's share of our skills is in energy weapons. Nothing in the desk. Ransom note, huh? So misc? What would that be under? Apparel? Aid? No way. Ammo stats data, maybe. Misc here. Ransom note. Now, Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Uh-oh. Looks like we might have another, uh... What's it called? Another hostage on our hands. We'll keep an eye out for the wife here. See if we can't rescue her too while we're in here. Be careful. I don't know what floor we're on. I think the second floor. But I'm not entirely confident in that either. This looks like stairs. Open door locked. Very easy. Now let's see here. Boom. First try. Suitcase. Is it clear? That's the first thing we gotta check. Let's see, you got ooh, some jet. That might be good to have. I'll take it real fast. We got some more jet. Oh, psycho. Some nice uh, meds here. Just got Nuka Cola truck, pre war hat, pre war money. Don't need any of that stuff. Oof. Thanks. Oh man, this was a, a messed up little spot. Someone might have overdosed here. Take switchblade, is that like an actual oh it is an actual switchblade. I thought that might have been like some sort of street name for a um a drug. I'm also a little bit thirsty. Um so I'm gonna take just a, a little tiny drink. Plus five rads a second. Never hurt anyone, right? Not when I'm so scarcely radiated. Listen to that. You're still dressed as a member of the powder gangers. It's cool that it kinda reminds me every so often. Oh, here we go. Convict. Now, I don't know if I can make that shot from here. Not with VAT, so I'm going to hold on to that AP. I'm going to shoot at him. Oh, I'm missing. Now that shot I can make. Convict torso crippled. That's okay. I'm just going to take one more shot. Boom. I'm going to save my AP. Let's see if anyone else is coming. Does not appear that way. What you got for me, man? Take some more rounds. Man, we are really... Uh, Take some bottle caps. I got some dynamite. Merc troublemaker outfit. I should be able to use that to repair my stuff. Um, I'm over encumbered, I know. Items. Weapons. Varmint rifle. Get a nice repair there. Nice. Fixing things. Oh, cool. Wonder what I get for doing that. Uh, Merc adventurer outfit. What's the troublemaker outfit? Hold on a second. Um, Lockpick plus five. Explosive plus ten. That's pretty cool. I'm still going to keep this one, though. Nice. Pretty good. This uh, laser rifle is not the best. That's okay. Actually might switch over to this shotgun. Um, actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to keep the laser rifle out because it's got multiple shots. And I don't trust myself to get the kills on the first one. Open dresser. Uh, sunset Sarsaparilla. I guarantee that's how you pronounce that. Whoa. What do we got here? Oh, I knew it. I triggered someone. Oh, how about this? Let's, uh... If anyone wants to come check it out. Come on in. Anyone? No? Come on in. Look, I'm walking around. Nope. All right. Oof. Man, you guys need to work on your situational awareness. I do say so myself. Open vending machine. What you got in here? Nuka Cola. All right, now this is soda. You're trying to tell me that that reduces my water? Because sleep. Oh, wait a second. Am I reading this wrong? Like maybe the activate water fountain HP plus five, rads five. Let me check on something real fast. Go stats, H2O. 
Okay, so if I'm drinking water, which way is that going to go? Maybe, okay, let's find out. Let's see, water fountain. So we're at, what was it? 268. We drink water. So that's presumably going to hydrate us a little bit. Now we got 69. Okay, so it is like that. So drinking soda actually does reduce your... Um, your, I guess the, the higher the number, the more dehydrated you are, is the, what to take away here. So that makes sense to me. Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Oh shit, we can get upstairs, I think, from here. Well, we're going to have to do that in the next episode because it's about that time. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, as always. In the next episode, we'll finish clearing... Uh, where are we at? Bison Steve's. We're going to finish clearing Bison Steve's. We're going to find our man. Maybe even find uh, another hostage, if that actually is what's going on here. Um, we'll take care of all of that in the next episode. So thank you as always for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Over here! Here! You like that?